Have you ever felt like you're never going to get your studio off the ground because there's just no music market where you live? Then this video is for you. This video is about our student, Tiago Canadas, who lives in Portugal, Lisbon, not exactly a music industry hub where he built his own studio from scratch, including the beds, the microphones, the preamps, everything. And now he works for clients like Sony, Tui Madsen, and he keeps booked year round. Watch and learn. Hi, my name is Tiago. I live in Lisbon, Portugal. I'm, now I'm a full-time recording engineer and mixing engineer. I've been doing this for about since 2009, so nine years, eight years. I've been doing it before, but not to a degree where I thought it was acceptable to take money. <laughs> I've been involved with many different projects along the years, such as recording artists for Sony, uh, doing some right now for Warner Music also. I own a studio that I take in also international clients and mixing engineers also. I've recorded some stuff with Tue Madsen and uh, Ulf uh, Bloomberg also. I just have a a facility where everyone can come in and and they also have accommodation so it's a big plus when they come from abroad to work it's a bonus to have a, a nice accommodation and also the facilities have everything they need in terms of listening uh, environment uh, microphones preamps so and the setup is fairly easy so anyone can just come in and start recording in five minutes yeah, I also built uh, some of the stuff you can see, like the, the panels in the back, uh, uh, preamps, microphones. Um, I kind of like to do those sort of things, like figuring how stuff works, making preamps, uh, build a couple of cappies and some microphones. I just see how, how it's made and I just follow the instructions and try not to get myself killed. I was starting to present results that were on par with what other studios that were charging way more than I was at the time. I was delivering similar, if not better results. And that also gave me the confidence that I was doing something right. It gave me the push to keep further pursuing knowledge and improving in terms of anything I could, from the tracking to the mixing. Mastering, I'm still not uh, so comfortable with at least on my own projects, but it's important to to have the confidence to know and feel, feel a competition. If you're, if you're charging X and the big guys or the most reputable in your scene are charging like three or four times and the results are similar, you will get more traction with the clients and you, you can start building your career from there. The biggest challenge uh, to overcome was to get to a point where I have the confidence that, that what I'm doing is, is a good work. And that takes time to develop, like that certain, that feeling that you are working on a project. It may not be the best project in the world, but what you're doing are the right choices and the, the right options for that project. That was my biggest hurdle also in terms of uh, having the confidence to, to charge my the rate that I feel was appropriate for my work. That was also a, a big challenge. Not being so afraid to ask for money. That was also one big thing when I was starting was I was afraid to ask what I thought really thought my work was worth. Then you get like so many jobs that you work your ass and you get paid nickels. Either you start resenting the job or you start resenting the clients. And that's not the way, at least that's not the way I, I wanted to, to think about it. I want to come in the studio and I want to be pumped. I want to be psyched. I want to be enjoying what I'm doing. So you have to get to a point that you can be flexible, but be honest with yourself on what your work is worth. And then you start building from there. Clearing a lot of my self-doubts that I have, and also to confirm some things that I thought I was doing not so good, but correct, and my instinct was correct on those options. Everything from mixing advice and tips, even the the one-on-ones that I got from you and John Douglas and Joey, those were like really important moments for me that confirmed and helped me dissipate some doubts that I had on stuff that I was doing. And we all go through moments where our confidence is a little bit low. It happens. One thing that I love about URM is the community. For me, it's like one of the best 
if not the best community to interact with like-minded people and with people that are always working to improve. And for me, that's like the number one thing about URM. Just keep in mind that this is not a, something that will happen. It might happen, but that's not normally the case, that, that things happen overnight. Things take their time to develop your taste, to develop your sound, because at, at the end of the day, that's what you want. You want to be your own person and your own engineer. It's fine to copy others and to learn from others. I think that's the best way to start. And I've learned it a lot from watching Andrew Wade, uh, uh, Churko, Nolly. Uh, I always get some, some snippet or some sort of information that helps me to push myself a little bit further or some, something that I haven't thought about, then I start thinking about it and it becomes another, it becomes a part of you. So you are just, uh, you sort of become a bit of everyone, but then they, they all go through your filter, your taste, the way you hear things. And that takes time. So don't be afraid that things aren't working out in one year, two years, three years, but just if you really love this, keep working at it, don't give up and yeah, just grind. If you're young, then now's the time to do it. Don't wait till you have kids and a mortgage and <laughs> a million things to worry about. So now's the time. If you guys want to do it, do it while you're young. I started when I was late. I started like doing this. I went to audio school when I was like 25, 26. I was a little bit behind, but my passion kept me going. I haven't given up and I'm always improving. And that's a mindset you need to have to always be improving.